All right, y'all. So I'm gonna be doing two Nord 10 uh 5G um phone screens in this video. Um, the first one is gonna be like the full in detail uh video. The second one is gonna be a time lapse. But, uh, let's hop into it. All right, y'all. So the first thing I do is put it on the heat pad. I put the heat pad to 70 degrees um Celsius just for to soften the glue um to separate the back glass. Uh, for this phone though, what I realized was. Like you don't you don't really need to use heat for um getting the back glass off just because it's kinda like once you get like your first angle in there and get your uh your prying tool in there, it comes out pretty easy. I used the um a, a playing card I believe in this video and it just wedged it through the whole thing and, and yeah, it came right off. Um but for the first phone though I did use heat. Um I'm gonna show you in a second what I did. All right, so I don't recommend this, this like method for every phone, but what I ended up doing was getting a razor and like a um a little it's not a pla it's like it's like a playing card type um, texture with this card right here, and I just went around the whole thing with the playing card and um separated the back glass like that, um but to get like the initial like um wedge to actually get the card in there, I did use the razor to lift the lift the back glass up a little bit. And you gotta be gentle on that first little um, lift just because uh, you don't want the um, razor to scratch up the back glass or the phone frame. Just kinda make it like a 90 degree angle and then uh, tilt it to like a 45 degree angle. Make that wedge in there, get some plastic in there and then separate it like that. All right, y'all see right here, this is the second phone. I went ahead and got the back glass up for uh, um, the screen repair just to do it, you know, all at one time. Cause getting the back glass up like the one of the most tedious parts so i just got the back glass off real quick and um you see me getting in there with the razor get my angle in there get my wedge in there and nobody get a plastic bit in there plastic spudger in there make my gap keep it just like that with the plastic spudger put a razor out i messed up I think I have to put the razor back on. Huh? Yeah, put the razor back on. Huh? Kept my gap. Got my playing card in there. Everything smooth selling. Got around the edges. Up around the other edge. You know, nice steady pace. Not too slow, but, you know, not too fast either. Then for this top part, I used the cleaner edge, got in there. Taking the bottom up a little bit. Then we'll get into the middle. I actually used the black spudger to help with the middle part. Mm -hmm. Get that up, get that up. It's just gonna fall off. All right. Oh, that's coming up. It's a little bit more, it's a little bit more adhesive. I saw it off. Separates just like that. Alright, now onto the, the original phone. Alright, next thing I got to is getting these uh screws out. I think it's um like fifteen in total, but most of them are are at the top and it's like five at the bottom. But it's one screw that's gonna be in the phone. That's uh in the like the upper upper right portion is gonna be covered with that white piece of uh piece of tape. You kind of see it in the top right corner. It's a screw hook and the screws covered by a white piece of tape. Uh, what I did was get a, a tweezer, kind of cut the tape, and um, then got the screw out with a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, yeah, pretty simple process. I'm going to go ahead and skip through this part. Go ahead to the next part, getting the frame off. 
Alright, this part's a little bit finicky, but this part is just taking the frame off. Uh, what I did for this part is get the razor blade, make a wedge between the frame and the um, screen. Let's pop it off once I get the um, like a little gap in there with the um, black splutter. Um, the razor blade method, though, um, I don't know what other people do, but it just made more sense for me. Um, you gotta you gotta kind of brace yourself because you don't want to be using too much force and it slips and cuts you or cuts the foam frame. You kind of have like keep applying a little bit of force until it just pops out just enough so you can put a piece of plastic in there and go around the whole uh, perimeter. Once it uh, pops out, you can use your finger or a black spudger and kind of get a whole around the whole thing. Take the frame out of place. Um, all in all, it took me probably about a, a minute and a half to do. I won't let the whole thing play through just for anybody having any, any uh, difficulties with this part. I should have been told you this, but disconnect the battery first before, um, as soon as you get the back, the back glass off. But this step is pretty easy. Um, for the Nord 10, they have like pull tabs for the battery so you can move the battery to get to the um, screen cable. Look how easy this is compared to the iPhone. You really just pull that up, comes right up like that. Yeah, it's like, <sighs> Apple really uh, needs something like this. But they, they, they add so it's uh, fuck them. Repair wise, fuck, uh, for a couple reasons actually. Yeah, you get the battery, um, a little plastic covering up, and then you're gonna have full access to the cable to uh, separate the um, screen. And nice and slow so I don't tear it. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, my spudger, or I think I use my finger now. I use the, I use the spudger and get the um, the cable up. So I can uh, remove the screen. Yeah. Let's glue it down. Let's pull it up kind of slow. And then turn it around. And what I do is, um, I might cut to it. Yeah, I'm going to cut to it. It's going to be a little minute. Hold up. All right, so what I did was, I ended up getting my heat pad off for no reason. I didn't really need it. Um, ended up getting a razor. Again, making a wedge with the razor. Then use the plastic to do the rest. Um, made a gap between the screen and the um, the mid frame, as you can see. And then pulling the screen up with um, my black spudger. Now I'm gonna play this whole part out, but basically the um, uh, it's a little white part. Uh, you can barely even see it. You want to get behind that with the with the spudger and just pull out. And the screens is gonna come up pretty um pretty easy. Let me see. Yeah, I'm getting it up with the um the spudger. Falls, it falls. I kinda use the heat, but I really I really did not need it. Right, with the second phone I didn't use the heat and it took me a little bit like less amount of times because I was more comfortable with it. Um, the only thing you can't, that's nothing behind the screen of damage. It's just um, the, the camera, but you always want to be careful in that area. But other than the camera, it's nothing behind the screen of damage. No cables beside the uh, ribbon cable that goes to the motherboard, but that's already, you know, connected to a bad screen. So, again, black spudger. Could use a whole lot more force than I'm using. Pull it up. Now pull it up. Get the other side. Camera's around there, so mind you. Then yeah. All right, next step is going to be like getting a little glass pieces from around the, around the uh, mid frame. I think I had a little bit at the top, so what I did was took my fingers. Uh, you shouldn't really use your fingers, I'm going to tell you that much. Like, do not use your fingers. The um, only reason I did it because I'm kind of comfortable with a little bit of glass in my hand. Um, <laughs> that's the only way to put it. There's no safety reason why you should use your fingers to 
to get this uh, glass up is like it's not that much faster than using like a little razor or piece of plastic or cardboard to like kind of scrub it out but yeah use use something else in your fingers to get yeah I use a little razor at the top just because those are kind of some uh, bigger pieces but the little plastic, the little glass pieces not really don't hurt that bad but just be safe don't use your fingers oh uh, yeah well, so what i always like to do get the screen out the package and see how it fits make sure it fits with an android phones because you know sometimes there's discrepancy with the seller or even the um the part might be like a such a like a different a different country model so um just make sure the screen fits uh, this will handle issues so so what I did was take it up, turn it on, tested it. The screen worked fine. So I uh, went ahead and put the glue down, the tape down to um, adhesive the screen to the, the mid frame. All right, here I'm putting the, um, the tape that I use onto the mid frame. Um, this is some 3M uh, double-sided tape. Uh, I'll link it in the description at some point. And um, yeah, it's pretty good for iPads, Android phones, any type of... Uh, like tech use is it's really it's really 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 great um never really had no issues with it so yeah get that side i do like a little, a little rough measurement cut it and then just tape it down like that um i'm gonna show you the end result in a second all right once you tape everything down this way it should look like then you're gonna get a razor or a pair of tweezers so with a sharp edge and um kind of like get it get an edge up and just take the tape off. Um hit my big ass head in the way. Alright, damn. Alright, we're gonna get a good angle right here. Alright, you see how I'm doing? I'll fuck it up. Yeah. Then we're gonna get the screen. Alright, then you get the screen that you already, you know, fit it to the um the phone to make sure that it's going to fit and um and just adhese it down i start from the top and then work my way down to uh flip fit it in press it down mm -hmm. then you're going to have to uh fold the the cable a little bit to help the battery fit Clip it down first. Then make a little fold in there. Then you can put the battery in. Then All right, once you put the battery in and then, um, you know, connect it to the uh, motherboard. I had a little difficulty with this one right here. Got it in. All right, you're gonna put the screws in. Um, I took the uh, camera cover off for no reason, I didn't need to at all. Um, but yeah, get the mid, get the um, the back frame, put it on, put the screws all in, get the screws in there. Um, yeah. It's real quick job, quick and easy. Just one by one, put the screws in. I'm just gonna get the SIM card in there in a second.
the SIM card in there. Bada bang, bada boom. Real quick, real, real easy. Then we're gonna put the um the back legs back down. Alright, same process here with the um glue on the sh taping the screen now. Um I wanna get most like most like the, the big pieces of residue off from the old um the old uh tape, but you know, a lot of it you gotta kinda of leave it. You don't gotta worry about you just get the, like the big the big chunk stuff, keep this the 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 um alignment off. Um Yeah, then I just secure it down. And after I take the uh, the uh, film off to secure it down, and then test it. All right, guys, here's the final result. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty great. Um, clean up with some ninety percent uh, alcohol, ninety one percent actually. Pretty versatile thing to use with tech. You know, test the touch. Test the camera real quick and yeah, everything good.